Hi there, this is Renee Rubacava with OdoNet, and today I want to do a little something different. I want to take a look at the ArcGIS Align uh, homepage that you get when you sign up for your free developer account. Um, talked a lot about how you can use uh, ArcGIS Align to do your analysis and got some samples here on my homepage, but just want to do a quick uh, look at how you can uh, customize this page for your own purposes. So if you have your own organization or maybe you work in a portal, um, you can customize this page. As you can see how I did mine here. I've got my uh, custom banner here. This is just an image. Um, my uh, highlighted maps and where those come from. Um, then you can uh, customize this little area here where I've got a, a link to uh, my book right here. And I've also got links out to my various uh, social media, my YouTube channel. Uh, things like that that you can see. So how would I do something like that? So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the My Organization tab and this is the area here where it tells you all the people you have in your org. If you have a developer account and you don't, you are a single uh, person in the org, you don't you get anyone else with your developer account, just want to go to uh, Edit Settings and here's where you can go ahead and start edit, do all kinds of really cool stuff in editing. So uh, most developers, when you uh, are working with the developer account and you've got your ArcGIS Align page, you probably never touch this stuff because you're only concerned about uh, creating your maps, creating your items, which is cool. That's fine. Um, you don't need to mess with all this if you don't want to, but if you want to uh, kind of highlight your work, maybe you want to uh, use your ArcGIS Online account as part of your uh, portfolio for your resume, you're applying for jobs and some stuff like that. This is a, a really cool way for you to kind of do that and set stuff up. So basically you have your organization name. Uh, this would typically be your own name. You can have your own custom thumbnail in here. And then the description for your organization. This is where you can do some really kind of cool stuff. Uh, only thing I wish here is I could actually expand this window. I can't really resize it. And I don't think it was really meant for adding lots of images how I wanted to do so that could be a reason as well too I think this is really more just for quick descriptions but for example here you could probably put your resume in here if you wanted to um, and highlight some stuff and link out maybe to some uh, maps you want to highlight so I'm just able to go ahead and it's, it's got a, a really a nice simple little editor so I can edit out the URL to an image and give it a description I can put links in here. Um, so it's got the link properties here. I can uh, set those up. I get the links out to my various social media sites or any other website that I want to put in here. Uh, could be added as well. Change the font and various things like that. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a rich text editor you have available to you to be able to do all kinds of cool stuff. So like I said, this is probably a, a good spot you can use to kind of highlight uh, your own work. Uh, organization summary so if you just want to kind of summarize some stuff here I don't have anything in here uh, but you really could uh, put stuff stuff in here you can change the language so English is not default language there's a ton of different languages you can pick from as well as the regions themselves uh, now organization short name so this is kind of neat uh, if you want to use your full name for the organization maybe a short name for the org you can do that just be aware that it's going to update the uh, the URL here and if your org's been around for a while and you've already made quite a few maps and sharing stuff there's a little warning here to tell you this could break um, some of that so just be careful with that if you're going to use the short name thing do it right away when you create your organization all right so then you can just have a uh, various links here and a uh, contact us uh, second of an email I just put my link to my main page here okay so the home page so in the home page you can uh, use no background you can use this uh, this blue one which I think is this the default for most people so uh, something to be aware of or uh, update uh, an image right and the same for the banner um, you can use an image uh, do custom design uh, however you want to do in my case I use this banner here so you can see I have a banner this banner uploaded uh, becomes this banner uh, in here So they can do featured content. Now this is where things get kind of cool because I have a, a group that I created uh, just called GeoDev in here. And it's just the default group that I added a few maps and stuff to. And this is the featured content that shows up right here. 
so you can scroll through uh, the content for that group. So this lets you go ahead and highlight stuff uh, in a pretty neat way. Then gallery, and again, you can just uh, have different things except for a gallery, uh, what you want to show. And if I go to open that a new page, give it a second to come up. So this is the gallery in here. Um, and I'm just, I have the default of uh, using Esri's stuff or my organization's featured content. Uh, so this is the same stuff that I'm using for my um, scroll over here. Now the map. Now this is where you can do a couple of really uh, interesting things. Um, basically, uh, you can add your own custom base maps in here. So if you have uh, custom base maps that you want to work with, other than the Esri default base maps, you can uh, assign those base maps to a group and uh, make them available to use. Um, the default base map and default extent. So let's look ahead here at the um, extent, right? So uh, basically you can go ahead and you can choose the extent you want to work with. Now by default, I think with, uh, the region, for example, in the U.S. region, it's going to go ahead and give me the U.S. extent. But if I wanted to change that here actually i have to scroll up my bad i want to draw an extent actually let me uh, cancel that that's all i meant to do i'll do like this i didn't want to zoom into an area so let's zoom in to say los angeles i'm in, I'm in the la uh, southern california area so maybe i'm really more concerned about just uh i'll go ahead and get santa Ana in there why not Okay, so this is really the area that I'm probably going to want to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my extent here, where I can manually enter in uh, my extents there, and click OK. So now, if I come here, this is going to be the default extent used for all the maps when I create a new map inside of my organization. Um, you can still use big maps if you wanted to as well. Add them in here. So you can put your Bing key up in here and... Uh, you know, use those as well. That option is still available. Uh, the configurable apps, um, you know, again, you can have apps assigned to a group, and that group has uh, contains certain apps, and you can uh, use those in your apps gallery, right? Um, units. So if you want to just use a US standard, that's things like miles and feet, or you want to go ahead and get all, uh, you know, logical and use metric, uh, you can change up to metric everywhere um and same thing goes for analysis layers you're going to find stuff like this again uh you can have layers at the ezra default analysis layers when you want to do the analysis uh, layer gallery uh, or you can have layers coming from a group that maybe you created and you've assigned layers to that group um, and that would be if you are uh, more with a larger organization and you kind of want to split out things like that maybe you have a particular group of your own data sets that you're always going to be using to run analysis on, so you want to add those in here. Item details, this is all pretty simple. Um, the one thing you can do here, so you can have two so that members can add comments to items, so if you're going to want to have some uh, kind of history or discussion of particular items that get published in your organization, then you can go ahead and let people comment on them within your organization. You can enable metadata here. Now you're probably not going to do this, and this is not just like, oh, I want to add a little bit of detail about my uh, my item. No, this is uh, standard metadata things like the was it FGDC, um, the um, ISO metadata standards. So they're not just simple little things. These these uh, are some of these can be a little bit more involved. But if you have a requirement, um, if you're working with government agencies and federal stuff, you might want to have to have uh, metadata on your items to meet those requirements. Uh, again, groups, you can go ahead and create some groups. I, like I said, I create a GeoDev group in here. If I had more than one person in here, I can assign group members. Um, and again, with the configurable apps, I can go ahead and have groups based, uh, group based apps uh, display. Uh, in here as well, and I'll just keep the Esri default, and I won't have any assigned groups. Utility services, so you can go ahead and you can change the print service you want to use. Maybe you have a custom print service you're using internally for your, um, you know, an ArcGIS server that you've published. You want to use that in your portal. You can go ahead and set that up here. 
that's pretty useful. You can add your own geocoders. Maybe you've got some uh, different geocoders that you use within your organization and you want them available inside uh, your portal or Arctis line. You can add those in here for your users. Uh, this whole idea of the roles. I I don't know the role stuff too well, um, right? I mean, I think some of this stuff has uh, changed a bit recently. Um, all I know is uh, administrator and uh, user at different levels that I do different things. If you need to get deep into this, I really suggest read the documentation on roles because this is where things get uh, a little bit more uh, tricky, I think, when you want to assign roles to various users. And then marketplace. So if you're managing stuff in the marketplace, you want to manage uh, people that have bought stuff from you. Um, you know, this kind of, uh, again, this is really what you see if you're doing marketplace stuff. And then security. So uh, I've checked on to allow access via HTTPS only. Um, just a little bit extra encryption. It does warn you that it may slow some stuff down a little bit, but that it's fine. I haven't noticed anything really on my my end anyway. Um, so allow anonymous access. So I think this is checked off by default, if I remember correctly. So if someone tries to go to the home page, if someone tried to go to my home here um, and they were not logged in, they would not be able to see it. Uh, in my case, I want people to see my homepage, if, even if they don't have an ArcGIS online account. So you want to check that button, check this off here, especially if you are sharing this page with potential employers or something. Um, and I'll allow uh, only standard SQL queries. Uh, I won't get into that one. You can look this up yourself here. And there's a lot of other things you can do in here. Sharing, uh, and searching, uh, the password policy. So you can uh, uh, really, if you had an organization and you want to really piss off your users, make them change a password every uh, couple of days or so in here, um, that would be a really fun thing to do. Um, uh, identity providers, again, this is more enterprise stuff, so if you're working with an uh, enterprise and you want to set your authentication to work with that, you can do that in here. Uh, social logins, so you can allow uh, people to uh, log in to your organization and join it uh, via like Twitter and I think Facebook, um, Google in here. I think Twitter, this, this is social networks like Facebook and Google, but I think this also includes uh, Twitter as well. And then trusted servers, you can add trusted servers in here. Uh, again, this is more security stuff and controlling your web tier authentication. So you just want to be, uh, you know, talk to someone that knows what they're doing before you start messing with all this stuff here. Uh, allow portal access. And then this is, uh, you know, if you've got um, a portal configured on your own domain uh, and you want to uh, you know, update some stuff in here. You can go and add the portal into here. And again, this is more the advanced stuff. So if you're messing around in here, I highly suggest that you read up a little bit more uh, the details of how that works. All right, here is the documentation on the administration for your ArcGIS Align organization. So this explains uh, Everything I just talked about, but in a lot more detail. Um, so again, so security settings. Uh, this goes into great detail about how to set up your security. I highly suggest if you're going to mess with the security portion that you read this first. Just to, just don't go in there and start playing around with stuff. You might uh, you know, expose yourself a bit. But again, there's a lot of really cool stuff in the documentation here. Uh, not just on the administration, but on everything else about that you can do with ArcGIS Online. So go ahead and look that over as well. I just want to talk a little bit about the administration portion because we don't see too much, um, no, uh, not too many people talk about it a whole lot. It's, it's kind of one of those things that, you know, it's important and it's useful to you. Um, not so much maybe for the developers themselves, but if you're managing an organization, um, you know, you really should know this stuff. And I especially think it's really neat for people that want to, um, promote themselves in some way, market themselves, or, or like I said, they want to create an online portfolio of the work that they do for employment purposes, uh, things like that. So uh, it's really useful for you to get to know as well, uh, even if you are a developer uh, working with ArcGIS Online um, platform and doing certain things. And that was it. So I hope you learned a little something today. Thank you.